Hey, this is Russ. I'm back out on the road again. Hey, so what am I riding today? I got a brand new bike for you. Yeah. Yeah, usually I show you the bike first. But we're heading there to show it to you. Let's take a look at our speed here. It says 21 miles an hour. According to the radar, the screen shows 23.5. So, I think that needs to be modified. <laughs> now, I took a look at the advanced functions of the of the bike. Let's slow down here. Yeah, I gotta make sure we're safe here, right? <laughs> Hit that stop sign. I took a look at the advanced functions of the bike and noted that the wheel size was set for 22 inch wheel in reality we have a 20 inch wheel now sometimes companies put it that way so that it matches the speedometer but I think in this case it's not quite matching because our speedometer is not matching that radar detector we'll have to play with that <laughs> That, that setting basically just sets up the uh, speedometer, I think, so that you have the speedometer correct. You may have to bring it back down to 20. But it was defaulted for 22, so I just left it where it was. I needed to at least check out the bike to see what comes out. So now you might say that the Jaguar Rundi is not a new bike. Oh yeah, this one's new. <laughs> this one is definitely new. They have changed the Jaguar Rundi slightly. So what has changed on this bike? Well, it went from a 52 volt battery to a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery. So the amp hours stayed the same, but the voltage dropped. Now typically when you drop the voltage, that's going to affect a bunch of things. <laughs> that's usually gonna mean that you're not gonna get your top speeds and all that type of thing. Well, I can tell you from just this initial ride, heading out to show you this bike um, I'll make sure I'm safe here too okay that person sees me so that's good uh, I'm gonna bring us to where I usually do my reviews um, this bike is just as peppy yeah it has the same pick up and go as the other bike it does I had asked Magicycle whether this drop in voltage was going to affect our our speeds and all sorts of stuff and all right hold on here <laughs> the, the two dogs are trying to see each other there <laughs> and whether uh, we're gonna we're gonna lose anything from it and they told me no and what they did is they changed out the motor from a 600 watt motor to a 750 watt motor <laughs> So they gave you a bigger motor, <clears throat> a bigger motor with a lower voltage. Uh, so I said, well, I'm going to have to find out for myself, right? I'm going to have to find out whether this really changes things or it doesn't. I can tell you from the initial feel of this bike, it doesn't seem to change it. It still has the same pep. I guess part of, uh, our, part of it's going to be the hill climbing test. How well does it go over the hill? <laughs> we'll do that in a bit. Sit tight with that one. All right, we're almost in the area where I usually go to uh, to show you the bike. We'll go all the way there. Let's make it uh, make it official. But I decided to turn on the camera earlier because I wanted to give you my first initial feel of the bike as I'm riding it. Yeah, I just got this bike yesterday. Let let me say this about FedEx. <laughs> I know this is a review, but let me let me let me throw this zinger to FedEx, okay? Now, when they when they tell you that they're gonna send you a bike, uh, you get a tracking number, right? So I got a tracking number, and then of course I got notification from FedEx that a bike was coming my way. Today's Tuesday, and we're talking Monday, all right? So it says Monday you're gonna get this bike, and then early in the morning at 7 a.m. I get this little notification on my phone that says your bike is coming. Expect to see it between 9.30 and 2.30. Okay, that's the typical window that they give you. 
So you sit around at home waiting because you got to have a signature for it. Yeah, it didn't show up until 7.15 at night. So what? They have you waiting all day long. Yeah, I, I literally couldn't do a thing. I was stuck at the house all day. This is not untypical of them. This is very typical of them. Every time I've been getting bikes lately, I'm the last guy on the list. <laughs> You know, after 2.30 comes around, then it changes to uh, at the end of the day, it says. Well, yeah. What does that mean for the guy that has to sign for something? That means you got to be stuck in the house all day long. All day long. I'm not kidding. I am not a fan. Believe me, I am not a fan of FedEx. <laughs> all right, maybe there's a good pricing for, for the delivery of these bikes. Okay, I understand that. <laughs> But as a, as a person waiting for products to sign for, holding them up for the entire day, FedEx, come on. <laughs> that is not good. All right, we are in a spot where we can actually show you this bike. Let's, uh, let's find a nice open area. You know, the, the thing is, is a lot of these, uh, a lot of these vegetations have grown up a bit so it's a little bit different here all right all right I have changed it <laughs> yeah I took off the wide angle and everything so you can see this bike let me let me uh, let me angle this properly here let me do this does that look better ah, it's gonna flop back down Yeah, you can never get the wheel to stay where you want it to go to stay. <laughs> yep, there it goes, flops back down. All right, so this is the Magicycle Jaguar Rundi. Now, when you first look at this bike, you go, that looks exactly like the other bike. Yeah, it kind of does, but there are some changes to the bike. I note that the, uh, the frame geometry seems to be a little different. I, I know for a fact, like this thing here, you see how this curves here? It was a little more straight on the original. Now you may be asking, why don't you show us the original? I'll show you a photo of the original, <laughs> all right? I can't ride both bikes at the same time, so I can't put them back to back. But let me, let me just say this. Whatever changes they did to it doesn't seem to affect the performance of the bike. So why did they change things? I don't know. I don't know. I will tell you this, though. They changed the price. They lowered the price. Yeah. The price is now $12.99. And that includes the rear rack and tail light. Now the original Jaguar Rundi did not come with the rear rack or tail light. It was an option. It now completes by, by, by including it. They've also changed out this little strap. All right. So this little bungee cord used to be black, blue, and black. It's now all black. Kind of missed the blue. I don't know why they changed that. Maybe they did it just so that you you know it's now a different one? I don't know. They've also changed this, the locking mechanism, okay? It's now like a quick release type mechanism. Now they had a quick release on the other one too, but it's, it's positioned differently. The other one just pulled out, this one you pull up, and uh, it's kind of like your uh, quick release on your front tire, okay? Still works, doesn't matter. I'm thinking every little change that they did was a cost change cost effective change now I did change out my saddle okay I put in the bikeroo saddle like I usually do but the saddle that they gave you looks exactly like the other magicycle saddles but the other magicycle saddles had like a little handle on the bottom here the new one does not have the handle all right does it really affect you no but it sure changes the price I'm sure all right, I added a couple more things too. All right, I added the, uh, here you go. Hey, it's me. Uh, I added the side view mirror. This was a compliment of Magicycle. Um, I had asked them for a bunch of side view mirrors. And so I put another one on here. They usually give you two, okay? When you, when you buy this style, you have a left and a right, but there's so much stuff on the right-hand side that, yeah, I usually just put on the left. I did move some things around. Now, let me tell you this. The bell got changed, okay? This bell is now, um, oh, I'm gonna have to move this bell. I, I repositioned. <laughs> I repositioned. Okay, here, here's the problem. I moved it, and it's too close to the um, 
to the brake now so the bell is not ringing because it's touching the brake. I'm gonna have to move this a little bit further over. Don't have my tools, I can't do it. But the bell, they used to give you this, uh, well, they're always cheap bells, every single one of them. But this is the bell that I typically put on all my bikes. Yeah, this is the one I usually buy for like $1.70 something. Yeah, that's nice to see. Thank you, Magicycle. I didn't have to put my own in there. Um, I also repositioned it. It used to be on this side, but I wanted the mirror to be a little further out. So I moved the bell to the inside and put the mirror where the bell used to be, okay? And uh, what else changed on here? <laughs> oh, tires changed. Yep, tires have changed. These are now Chow Yang tires. Before, we had Kenda tires on here. Now I'm gonna guess maybe the Chow Yangs cost a little bit less money. Still good performing tires. I have them on other bikes. But it did change, so did you know, okay? So I asked them to give it to me in white because I have two of the 52 volt versions in uh, midnight blue, which of course kind of looks a little black sometimes. But uh, yeah, this one's in white, so this way I can distinguish which bike it is that I'm taking. And no, you cannot change the batteries back and forth. This is the 48 volt battery. You have to use the 48 volt battery on here. I asked them whether I can use my 52 volt batteries from the other bikes in here, and they said no. Don't do it. So if you have a 52 volt Jaguar Rundi, uh, they do not suggest that you try to put that on this bike. You need a different 48 volt. So I requested another 48 volt battery, as you know. <laughs> so they'll be sending me a second 48 volt battery. I also requested a front basket, because of course they don't include that, but uh, they will be giving it to me. I stripped out the other one. <laughs> I, took, I took a front basket from my old Jaguar Rundies and I put it on my deer because as you know I had a flat on the deer and I said that's strictly because I didn't have a, a rack to hold my um, my tool bag I says I'm not doing that again I'm gonna have to put a basket there so I took it off the other one so now two Jaguar Rundies this one and the old one does not have a basket so they will send me baskets as well thank you Magicycle I appreciate it <laughs> Uh, I tell you, Magicycle has been very generous to me and have given me things that whenever I've asked for something. But I, I do tell them that, you know, when I ask for it, I do try to highlight it so that you guys can see it. And if you want to add one to your bike, do so. I would highly recommend you get the front basket. Yeah, I mean, you have the rear rack, but I'm going to put the second battery there. So I have no place to put my tools. That front basket will come in handy to put your tool bag, okay? And uh, Magicycle gave me the tool bags too, and it fits perfectly in that front basket. So, all right, what else has changed? Nothing else has changed. I mean, uh, the brakes are unlabeled here, so we don't know who makes the brakes. I don't know, is it Bengal still? I have, I have no idea, but it is a hydraulic brake, okay? Here's the rotors. These are still 180 millimeter rotors, I believe, okay? Front shock, yep, still there. Shimano SIS uh, shifter, seven speeds. And it is the Shimano Turney derailleur, which is what is on the other Magicycle Jaguar Rundi. So I don't think a whole lot really changed. Some odds and ends had changed. I think it probably brought the cost of the bike down, I'm guessing. And so now they can sell this for $12.99 as their regular price so was it worthwhile probably yeah i i'm i'm thinking uh i'm thinking this 48 volt thing is not going to change it too much now i did take a look at the current limiting it was set for 12 amps i could move it higher get more amps out of that battery but i figured no i'm not going to do it let's leave it and let's see how it does over the hill test <laughs> I did unlock it to the 25 mile an hour range and I did turn on the uh, cruise control. Okay, cruise control um, is an option again now on this bike. It wasn't on the original one that I got. It was always on. You have an option to turn it on or turn it off. It comes to you turned off. So you have to go into the settings and turn it on. And in the instruction manual, it tells you which setting it is. You just hold the plus and the minus button together at the same time and that gets you into advanced settings, okay? 
All right, let's take this let's take this bike out for a ride. All right, let's see how this bike does. Now, I'll give you a little forewarning too. If you turn on that uh, cruise control, just keep in mind that if you push down hard on the uh, throttle, it will start taking off really fast for you. Cruise control seems to uh, do that for all of the Magicycle bikes. Is that if you, you know, a lot of times when people start up, they, they twist that half twist throttle all the way down to get a faster start up yeah that's going to tell the bike i want the most speed you can get <laughs> and it's going to continue to keep rising on you this is where some people feel that the cruise control can get out of control no you just got to know it that's all i mean if you feather the the throttle uh it's not going to do that if you twist it 100 percent, it's, it's essentially you're telling the bike give me a lot now okay so it just keeps rising at that point all you have to do for cruise control is tap the brake a little bit, that'll cancel it, or pedal forward a little bit and that'll, that'll stop it. Cruise control typically will, will kick in if you hold it down in the same position for more than 8 seconds, then cruise control will, will turn on. Okay? You can turn it off again, like I said, just tap the front brake or rear brake, or pedal forward. Okay? Backward pedaling does not affect cruise control, it's, it remains on if you pedal backwards which is a good thing to know because if you uh, if you uh, if you're doing cruise control you're not moving your legs and you can get tired that way and you need to reposition your legs move it backwards cruise control will continue you see and then it'll give you the ability to, to, to move your legs I got a, I got an itch <laughs> all right <laughs> had to scratch that itch I have not been able to ghost pedal this yet I put it on uh, pedal assist uh, five even, and then I started to uh, put my gears at seven when I was riding here. I was not able to ghost pedal it. I don't know if they changed the chain ring or not. I'll have to check the specifications. If they did, and I, I notice it, I'll, I'll put a note up there. But uh, no, I have not been able to ghost pedal it yet. Alright, we're gonna have to cross this and there's nobody coming, so we're good. <laughs> Alright. That that clunk noise was not me, that was the other guy's bike. <laughs> it actually sounded like his kickstand or something, I don't know what it was. So yeah, this this feels exactly like the other Jaguar Rundy. I mean, the, the changes are what I've, I've noted to you. But uh, I'm not feeling anything that feels like it's, it's diminished in quality. All right, the car let me go by, so that's good. Always wave, thank you. Now I'm out here early because it's gonna be a hot day today. Yeah. We're out here in the uh, Chicago suburbs, and uh, it's going to be in the upper 80s today. Tomorrow will be the hottest day. <laughs> I think it's going to be like 96 or something like that. Thursday is expected to be just as bad. So if I want to ride, I've got to get out there early. So right now it's about, um, I don't know, what is it? 7.30ish, um, something like that. Our temperature is about 70, 71 degrees currently. Um, I knew I needed to get up and get out or I'm going to ride in the heat. I don't like riding in heat. <laughs> I like to ride in the cool. 70 degrees is my ideal temperature, but I can feel the humidity. I says, I gotta get out here and get this bike review done. I don't wanna wait any longer because right now you are buying this bike. If you order a Jaguar Rundi, they are the 48 volt versions. So that review has to come out. I says, as uh, soon as I get it, the next day I'm taking it out for the review. I mean, there's, not, there's nothing here that's, that's different that I don't know. So I figured let's do it, right? All right, I have a couple bike riders ahead of me. So I'm gonna wait a little bit before we do this hill test. I gotta get them through there before I 
veer down on the, uh, the throttle. Now they're, they're on regular bikes, it's gonna take them a while to get past that area. So I'm just slowing down a little bit here. Giving them some time to get up that hill. They're up ahead of us, I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, because if people are in my way, I, I can't go blasting through them. All right, so we're going to stop here for a little bit. We'll talk for a second here while we're waiting for them to cross through there. <sighs> All right, let me show you the display screen. Okay, there you go. Hopefully you can see that. I don't think really anything has really changed on this thing. No, it's the same thing. <laughs> Everything's the same thing. All right, so here's how we do this this test. Okay, I'm gonna move it to pedal assist level five, even though we're not really pedaling. I'm just gonna do it just so that we say we did it. Um, we're gonna throttle this all the way through, and we're gonna see how fast the bike goes over the top of the apex of the hill, okay? And whatever that is, that is our speed. Now, we've been riding a little bit. Battery still shows full full battery, although obviously it's not because I've been riding a little bit to get here. All right. Let's give it a try. Here we go. So again, I am not pedaling. I am just throttling. Oh, I also added the, the accessory thumb throttle that I usually do. I get that 3D printed from our local library. I just like the thumb throttles better. All right, so let's see how well we do over the test. All right, we are slowing down. Uh-huh, it is changed, because look at this. We don't have the power to get over the top. It's down to 6.5, 6.5 miles per hour. Yeah, it does not have the torque. Yeah, I am disappointed. Sorry, Magic Cycle, but I gotta tell the truth. <laughs> I gotta tell it as it is. Yeah, we have the pep. We have the pep. We have the uh, we have the ability to do 25 miles an hour. I don't I don't feel anything in the normal ride. It feels just like the other Magic Cycle Jaguar Rundi, but it doesn't have the hill climbing ability of the older Jaguar Rundi. So while it goes to its 750 watt motor. doesn't have the same torque all right so we saved some money but we lost some performance so um, was it a worthwhile change personally I would have rather that they kept the price up and kept this configuration the same based on the hill climbing issue but if you're if you're strapped for cash and don't want to spend what was it before? It used to be like $14.99, I think. Now you can get one for $12.99. Okay? Same folding bike ability. Take it wherever you want to go, except for big hills. <laughs> so in that sense, I guess it was worth it. But I don't know. I for me personally, if if I was a, if I was to name this bike, I'd give it a different name. I wouldn't call it a Jaguar Rundi anymore because it's not the same performance as the older Jaguar Rundis. You can call it Jaguar Rundi 2 or 48 volt Jaguar Rundi or just change the name altogether. I mean, it looks like a Jaguar Rundi, so I can see why they changed it to that, but it's going to cause confusion. People who maybe have a friend who bought a Jaguar Rundi and is happy with it, and then now you buy one thinking you have the same performance, you don't have the same performances. It's different. It's cheaper, but it's also got a different performance. Let's get through here first. So, uh, recommendation or not? Recommendation if you're looking for a folding bike and you're trying to save the money a little bit more, then I would say I would recommend it. Recommendation based on performance, I would say it's a little disappointing that I couldn't do the hill test better. <laughs> It is what it is, folks. So, if you're looking for a Magicycle Jaguar Rundi, 
just bear in mind that that's what's the performance at this point. All right, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching this review. Uh, hopefully Magicycle takes that to heart and does something about it. I don't know if they will. <laughs> they won't. <laughs> they won't. They've got production models already coming out already. So anyway, um, hit the like button if you like the review. For my honesty in the review. <laughs> and then uh, also uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I'll talk to you guys next time.